Hey guys, this is Jay here, Jaymania1, and we are back with another product tech review. Today is cool because we got the Cal, Cal Digit Connect 10 gigabit. This is a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter for Mac and PC, and it is Thunderbolt 4 compatible. What this basically means is that you can take your single gigabit connection and you can make it extremely fast. If you guys are wanting to upload or download videos from the internet a little bit faster, this is going to probably be the device for you. Now this here just comes in this white box, it's from CalDigit, and this thing runs about $150 or so. There are way more expensive 10 gigabit adapters out there, and there are also cheaper ones. So what I did was I looked for the best one as far as reviews go and what people are saying about them. Did a lot of research and we came up with this guy. And the cool thing about this is it does have the little tab here. And that is fantastic for me because I don't like to carry a knife. Well, I do like to carry a knife, but I never do. So if you look, there's just little tabs inside of here you can cut. And then this pops open. We're just gonna pull open the, the tab there. Pull these back and we're going to slide it out. Comes with a little thank you card. Thank you for choosing the Cal Digit. It's pretty cool. It's got some different support phone numbers on there. And spread the word. So we're spreading the word, guys. Um, comes with a little quick start guide on pretty much how to set it up for the different um, operating systems, whatever you decided to use. Um, it says if you're a Windows user only, you're going to want to plug the Thunderbolt 3 into a Thunderbolt 3 10 gigabit plug port on your computer. Uh, plug the net network card into the RJ45, should be good to go. It does also say you need to install drivers. Mac OS users do not need to install any drivers. Hooray for that one. But I'm going to mostly be using this for the Mac because um, we also already have the Thunderbolt 4 connectors on there. So it's just this little guy, and it's like a ginormous heat sink. So pull it out of here. And the reason for that is because this sucker's going to get pretty hot, but it does have a lot of cooling fins inside of it. As you can see, you can see all the way through here. So it's got lots of cooling on the outside. It's got lots of cooling underneath, on top, and all the way through the body of it. There's our Thunderbolt connector back there. And on the other side, this is our T connector for our RJ45. So we're just going to plug in our Ethernet here. We're going to plug in our Thunderbolt there. And we should be good to go on a Mac. If you do have a Windows PC, you're going to want to install some drivers. And that's okay. It's no big deal. So it does have these little feet, which is kind of cool. It keeps it from sliding around. I don't believe there's anything else in the box, but it is packaged pretty good. It's got some pretty thick sidewalls here to keep it protected which is great. Okay guys, this thing says to unleash the 10 gigabit ethernet speeds over Thunderbolt 3. You increase performance 10 times over standard gigabit ethernet when used with 10 gigabit network switches and high speed networks. So if you guys have a high speed internet network and you wanna get the most out of it, you're going to want something like this. Most computers just don't have the capability to push it, but it does come into your house at that speed, so you wanna get the most out of it. It's ideal for connecting a 10 gigabit RAID or NAS storage for applications such as video editing that requires fast transfer speeds. It's backwards compatible 10 gigabit N-based T Ethernet connector, supports 10 gigabit, 5 gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, 1 gigabit, and 100 megabytes. Um, it's fully compatible across a wide range of network configurations. It is bus powered and it's compact, it's super, super small. Uh, the Connect 10 gigabit adapter is portable and only needs power from your computer's Thunderbolt 3 port, which is fantastic. We don't have to carry around a power cord with this thing. I mean, that in itself is amazing. The adapter is passively cold by the aluminum enclosure. You can see it's massive and it maintains peak performance this way. Uh, Important note, the bus powered 10 gigabit ethernet adapter is not compatible with Apple Thunderbolt 3 USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 adapters. No big deal. If you got a newer PC out there, then that's not gonna be anything for you to worry about because you have Thunderbolt 4 now. 
And so this says Thunderbolt 4 as well. So the big thing on this is what, what we're going to get for speeds. We're going to upload some documents, we're going to upload some videos, and we're going to see how fast we can do it. As you guys know, we are big on that here because we upload a lot of videos to YouTube, Facebook, and other platforms. And we need something that can upload fast because Wi-Fi isn't cutting it, guys. The videos are just getting too big for that. And I want to be able to put them out there for you guys faster. If this is something that you guys are interested in, I definitely, definitely recommend you checking it out. We're going to play with this for probably, I would say, three or four days, at least maybe a week. And then come back and tell you what kind of speeds we're getting from it. Do all kinds of, uh, you know, just reviews on basically how well it works, um, how fast it can connect and things like that. But this is it guys, it's just this little tiny box. I mean, it's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this, but basically if you look at the size of my hand compared to it, it's not very big. It's not very big at all. And I, I think with the aluminum block that we got here, it's going to be able to keep it cool. And that was my biggest worry is, will this thing stay cool? Because as it gets hot, it's going to thermal throttle, it's gonna slow it down. And that's something that we absolutely do not want to happen. So we're going to give it a shot, we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna upload some videos and then I will come back and let you guys know how it does. But if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Always subscribe because you guys wanna see the new stuff coming out and we will see you guys in the next one. Later guys.